Oyo is always first. That is why outside of the Amazon Studios in Lagos, the first state the Amazons will be visiting is Oyo. The first university in Nigeria, the University of Ibadan. The first skyscraper building in Africa, the Kuku House Ibadan. The first television in Africa, the NTA Ibadan. And the first stadium in Africa, the Liberty Stadium, or your state, the pace setter of the 36 states in Nigeria. Oyo is always first. That is why outside of the Amazon Studios in Lagos, the first states the Amazons will be visiting is Oyo. My co-anchors are here. Bimbo is from Oyo. Yes. Sir. I see. I see where you get your individualism and character from Bimbo. I am a patient. <laughs> Only way to say it. That's the best way. I'm amazing because I'm from Ibadan. Go figure. Where? Dulako. I'm from Undo State. Proudly Undo. Oh, what did you guys do? We do a lot. What like nothing? Well, we get there. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, the first okay. television station in Africa, the NTA Ibadan, the first skyscraper building. A lot of first Coco ha House Ibadan. Yes. I didn't know that Ibadan had such a rich and um, um, pioneering uh, status, mm -hmm. not only in Nigeria but in Africa. Yes, we do. We're amazing. <laughs> 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 it's going to be more. <laughs> Look at it. It is amazing that one state has achieved all these things, and it's very really in Africa. Is it, is it true that it's actually the largest, one of the largest, uh, or is it the City. largest city in Nigeria? Yes, it is. And then there's this market, I've never been there. What is it called? Since you're from Ibadan, what is it called? There's so many markets, you have to be the, the there's, there's a big one. What's there's, there's, there's a very, there's, very there's, there's Oh, yes, Bagley. that's the one. That's the one I remember. Dugby. I call it Dugby. Dugby. <laughs> <laughs> Dugby and Baggy. I, I, I mean, Ibadan people, you know, very ag ag agrarian, they call them. Yeah. You know, they, they are farmers, they are traders. Ibadan people, they, know, they understand the power of you know, and and they, they are also um, very vocal. Yeah, is that, that why they call one. them Ibadan El Elekebu? Wow. Yes, it's because, yes, you know what it that. means? You know what they are? It, let me explain it to you. It's a gift, it's a talent. It's a gift of God. We have the power of speech. We understand how to put words together. Mm. We're amazing. <laughs> no, and then call. Uh, but you know, I find them. I find them the few battle people that I've interacted with and everything. I find them very funny. Number one, mm -hmm. and then number two, I find them very. You can't, like you said, you can't, you can't have the last word with any bad person. <laughs> sure. Sure. For well, every sure. question, sure. they have sure. an answer. We're extremely sure. intelligent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're sure, okay. sure. <laughs> but then, but then, in in a badon, um, yeah, you know, with uh, such a rich culture, such a, a rich um, background, mm. uh, Ibadan has come, well, or your now, or your state has come so far in Nigeria, but so far behind. Why is that so? I think because at the end of the day, we are allowed in certain things, but not in advertising ourselves. Does that really? make sense? Yes. No, it doesn't. In the sense that an Ibadan man is, okay, there are things we're particular about. You're particular about your lifestyle, the way you eat, the food you eat, the things that you see around you, family, friends, but not about announcing. Imagine, a lot of people don't even know that Ibadan has achieved so much because we don't put it every time we say Ibadan. Oh, first university, first this, like a lot of other states would do. We are still talking about the pace setting state in Nigeria, or your the first television station in Africa, the first university in Nigeria, the University of Ibadan, the first skyscraping building in Africa, the Coco House, and the first stadium in Africa, the Liberty Stadium, now Obafemi Awolowo University. We will be talking with the CEO, the chief executive, and the executive governor of Oyo State, Senator Abiola Ajimobi, when we come back. You're watching Amazons. I think in our own pyramid of development, you know, like you have a Maslow's hierarchy of need, the state also has hierarchy of needs. And in our own hierarchy of needs, which we call pyramid of development, 
we have as the base peace and security, safety of life and property. in pre-colonial era in 1829 to the largest metropolitan geographical area as a district council in 1961 and municipal government in 1989, the city of Ibadan has an illustrious history. Located 128 kilometers inland northeast of Lagos and 530 kilometers south of Abuja, Ibadan has been a transit point between the coastal region and the areas to the north of the country. Covering 1,190 miles or 3,080 kilometers, Ibadan has a population of about 3 million inhabitants, making it the third most populous city in Nigeria after Lagos and Kanu. A very lively city of highly industrious people with decent taste for the good life, Ibadan is also the home of Amala, a delicacy which is believed to be savoured with more relish only in Oyo town from which Oyo state as presently constituted derives her name. More than the good taste of its delicacies, Ibadan represents the cradle not only of Nigerian but West African and indeed African modernity. From the first television station in Africa, through the Premier University, to the Liberty, now the Obafemi Awolowo Stadium, Ibadan has a long list of firsts to its name. However, the status of the ancient city had for a long time remained only glorified by its rich history, as most of its infrastructure remained largely unkempt. <laughs> But a visit to the city recently revealed a total transformation from the beauty of its green parks and roundabouts, which are met by both newly built and rehabilitated roads. A first time visitor is simply overawed. Lush green gardens and parks inundate the city, making it a choice for tourists. The city landscape is also reinvigorated by increased structures of various financial institutions and banks angling to cash in unexpected economic boom. Indeed, Ibadan is truly modern now, thanks to the transformation agenda of the man at the helm as governor of Oyo State, Senator Abiola Ajimobi. Welcome back to Amazon. Today we are outside of the studios for the very first time outside of Lagos and the very first visit to the place setting states of your states, Ibadan actually, where we are hosting or perhaps the executive governor is hosting the Amazon. We said before you came, sir, your excellency, mm -hmm. that Ibadan is a pace setter. First television station in Africa, first um, university, university in Nigeria, in Nigeria first, first skyscraper, skyscraper first house. a lot of firsts, yeah. Your Excellency. You're welcome to Amazons. It's my pleasure to be here. But we look back and we say a lot of firsts, but those infrastructure are still as they were when they were first. Or your state was a pace setter, as you have highlighted. And you now see what are the plans we have to restore it okay. to that role of a pace setter. I think in our own pyramid of development, you know, like you have a Maslow's hierarchy of need, the state also has hierarchy of needs. And in our own hierarchy of needs, which we call pyramid of development, 
we have as the base peace and security, safety of life and property. And so far, we have been able to restore Oyo State to a peaceful state. In fact, in the Federation today, it's one of the most peaceful states in Nigeria. The next level of our pyramid of development is infrastructure. Infrastructure meaning roads, meaning facilities. And so far, I don't know from which side you came in into Ibadan city. There have been noticeable changes. Very true. You know, it's cleaner, better structured. The roads are now being reconstructed. We are dualizing all major entries and outlets in and out of your state. If you look around you now, you see dualized roads. Jericho Axis, Eleele, uh, Challenge, Dubai. As we are doing this in Ibadan, which is the capital of the state, we are also doing the same thing in all the major towns. We are Yo, doing Obomosho. it in Obomosho. We are doing it in Okeogun. The same. We are doing it in Oyo. And we are extending it to Ibarapa. So we are reconstructing or constructing, expanding the road infrastructure. Apart from that, the environment in itself, we are beautifying it. We are landscaping. We are providing curbs. We are providing shoulders for vehicles. We are providing bus stops. And we are providing gardens. So in other words, in terms of infrastructural development, as far as roads and uh, the environment is concerned, I think we've done quite well. Yeah, so the, the urban renewal, really, it's, um, it's something to commend you for. Okay. But how did you get the people of Ibadan? You know, Ibadan was tagged as, you know, one of the dirtiest mm. states. I resent I, I, that. I, I grew up in Ibadan. I resent that. No, Bimbo, no. Let's, so let's, let's, let's be factual yeah. about it. No, no, let's <laughs> not agree about it. Yeah. I just want to know, how did you get the people to embrace the culture of cleanliness mm -hmm. and hygiene, you know, such, in such a way that you now come into, into Ibadan, it's inviting, it's attractive, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. How did they let go of, you know, dumps, uh, dumping waste on the streets, uh, the away cars and, you know, pure mm -hmm. water and, and, mm -hmm. and, and, and all of that? Mm -hmm. I think uh, people must know that the Oyos, Oyos states, consisting of all those zones, Ibadan, Ibarakba, Ubumosho, Oyos town, Okeogun, Axis, they are generally very fashionable, clean, and neat people. And if you recollect, there is a saying that Oyo kin shebi babe nikon, aji shebi oyo lari. That is, 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 is a reflection of our fashionable disposition. Where when we dress, you will know that this is a, mm -hmm. a Yoruba man. If you look at our Agbadas, our Babarigas, you know that we are fashionable. And we are also very neat people, very clean and neat people. But you see, sometimes the leadership is very, very important. And I often said it, a leader will take people to where they want to go. But a good leader will take people to where they ought to be. So when you come in, the, the, the propensity for people is to want to do whatever they want. You know, this culture of impunity. But the moment you have good leadership, giving direction, our people will easily follow. So when we came in, we saw the place, they call it the dirtiest place in, in Africa. They called it. Now they don't call it that. So even when Bimbo was saying she resented it, for me, 
Yes, we resented it, and now we are making changes. And now I make bold to say that it's one of the neatest places in Nigeria today. <laughs> so I think true leadership, to answer your question, true leadership, true living by example. You see, when people know that you are serious about something, they will follow you. Sure. And every we introduced uh, environmental sanitation weekly in which I participate all the time. We go out, they see me taking shovel and you know cleaning the gutter. They will say, ah, this guy is serious. And then we provided uh, avenues for them to put their waste, their refuse. We collected, we are spending a lot of money on refuse collection. You have a vision for this state. You want mm -hmm. to see it in a particular place. You're passionate about it. Mm -hmm. Doesn't that conflict with time with the family? No, no. I think um, before I became governor, I've had a blueprint of what I want to do. And in getting there, don't forget my wife and I, we've been married for 33 years. The, the day we got married, uh, it was on a Saturday. And on Sunday, we moved back to Lagos. We moved to Lagos. And I went to the office on Monday. And she said uh, she would like to have a honeymoon. I said, look, there is no better honeymoon than bringing money home. <laughs> and I, I decided to go to work. So she's very used to my uh, work colleague disposition. It's really interesting speaking with you, um, Your Excellency. But we will be taking a break. When we come back, we'll be talking more to you about okay. the people of your state. Okay. After the break, you're still watching Amazons from the government house in Ibadan. Okay.